Hello, welcome to a new episode of X32 Reaper development. This is now to version 2.0 and I've done basically a new development uh, with the notion of uh, DCAs, basically for Reaper tracks. Uh, what this does is basically, as you can see here, uh, it assigns up to 8 DCAs because there are only 8 DCAs on the X32 and you can select a minimum and maximum track number and those represent basically the, the starting and ending point of a Reaper track system that you can use to mix tracks which are whatever number of tracks you want into those numbers of tracks and those numbers of tracks you, re you represent to the minimum and maximum then let's see what happens then so back to a program um, I'm now basically running Reaper and I've been assigning some tracks uh, that are corresponding to the uh, DCAs that I've been defining here uh, on the bottom side of Reaper. So DCA number one has no track assigned to it. DCA number two has tracks 73 to 75 and so on. And you can see that from time to time, four, uh, six and seven do not have any tracks. I have voluntarily inverted the order of tracks that are assigned to uh, DCAs number five and eight just for the fun of it. And basically now what I'm going to do is uh, uh, show you how that uh, runs basically once assigned. You can see that on Reaper, I've been, I have in green here all my uh, DCA, normal DCA tracks. I have basically in dark green, then in gray, and in uh, some kind of a salmon color, and then green again. The additional submixes tracks uh, from Reaper. On those tracks, basically, you can have any type of Reaper tracks that are basically submixing to those tracks. And what this program now, or the version 2 of uh, X32 Reaper does, is that basically those subtracks here, uh, 73 to 75, for example, are assigned to uh, DCA number 2. And I can actually control this directly from the X32. Okay, you can see that this controls DCA as well as all the tracks assigned to DCA, okay? And you can mute, everything is mute together. You can unmute, of course. And the same is true from Reaper. I can actually either play with the DCA itself, which will control all the tracks, the Reaper tracks assigned to the DCA, as well as all the X32 tracks that would be actually linked to the uh, X32 DCA. And I can also control those tracks from any of the tracks that are assigned to the DCA. This works for any type of uh, tracks that are assigned to DCA. Uh, you can see that some of them do not have any assignment. This one has a lot more assigned to it. Okay, and it all works as you would expect, you know, from a two-way communication between Reaper and the X32. Okay, hope you like this demo. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.